This is Cooking in Canada. This is a sockeye salmon, which is one of the best fish for making the dish we're making today, which is crab lax. Sockeye salmon are one of the only species of salmon where it's good to freeze them whole. So we have this beauty and you'll probably have your salmon in fillets, but I'm just gonna break this down really quick. I'm wearing gloves because I want to incorporate the least amount of bacteria as possible. Decapitation commencing. If you only have one knife in your kitchen that's sharp that you use on the rag, then use that knife. You need to use your sharpest knife if you're trying to fillet fish. So you cut a slit at the tail and then you want to cut along the backbone. Such gorgeous fish. Okay, here we have our beautiful fillets, and they still have the skin on, so that's important to note. If, your skin, if the skin is off, it's gonna take a lot less time to cure, so just keep an eye on that. We wanna put a lot of these partially cracked black peppercorns, and be generous because they're just gonna lay on the flesh, and it's not really gonna like penetrate, it's gonna go on the, more on this surface. It's going to penetrate a little bit, but because they're in such large chunks, we can add quite a bit. Now dill. Dill is super classic for gravlax. Make it to your taste. Use whatever herbs you want. So once you've arranged this onto your salmon, you add, this is 50% by weight salt, each salt and sugar. So this is 50-50 salt and sugar by weight. And you just add enough to cover and coat your salmon. So you mostly want the salt sugar mixture to be caked on the thickest parts of the salmon but make sure the whole thing is coated. So this is it for part one on making gravlax. Stay tuned for part two when we take these out of the fridge. Now it's time for these to wait overnight. <laughs>